Hey guys, thanks for coming back and joining us. Uh, today here at BZB Express TV, we're introducing another product from BZB Gear. It's the BG-UHD-SCVEA. Uh, basically, this is a device designed to help bridge the gap between our old school and new school AV connections by converting and upscaling uh, our old analog and our digital connections, utilizing an array of input options. Since the majority of newer TV displays do not offer uh, component or composite, uh, but typically only HDMI, uh, this guy here has you covered if you have, say, an old VCR, DVR, um, perhaps a home camcorder you want to connect. You just plug into this unit and it will actually scale it to a resolution of your desire. You can actually select between a few different options on resolutions 480i, 480p, 1080i, 1080p. Uh, the BG-UHD-SCVEA is ideal, offering a variety of flexible inputs that can convert the signal uh, for simplicity and overall enhanced viewing experience. For our example, we're using a DVD player today. Uh, we're actually using the component output connection. Uh, note, make sure that if you are doing this, you go into your menu of your source, be in your DVD player or VCR. Uh, typically, there is a setting in there that you will have to select the actual output that you desire, whether it be HDMI or whether it be component. Now, there are several ways you can control this guy. Um, you can use the front panel, which has some arrows on it, and a selection button. Of course, you know, the IR remote that comes with it is very handy. It has several features on it. It's small, and uh, it comes with a freeze and aspect ratio, as well as input information, so you can actually see what resolution you're at as well as the actual resolution settings here for a shortcut. You can change the resolution from 1080i to say 1080p for the best picture quality. Doing this will assist in upscaling uh, incoming signals for a cleaner and brighter picture. Uh, now when it comes to audio, this unit supports audio from the HDMI and DisplayPort inputs. However, uh, for BGA, there is a stereo input, a 3.5 millimeter you can plug in, but if you're going to use the other ones, uh, such as the component or composite, you will need to uh, parallel your source's audio to uh, the proper uh, amplifier or possibly active speakers in order to get sound, as it does not support sound for those particular video inputs. So that being said, let's uh, take a quick look at what we have going on here. Basically, we're going to use the remote instead of the front panel. I do find it to be a little simpler than pressing the front panel and having to be right there. So I'm going to walk over here and get a little bit closer. We got a lot of light going on in this room. Currently, we are on our uh, VGA. This is one of our computers. Um, if I were to show you by uh, scaling this down to our 480p at 60 hertz signal, you're going to be able to see that it's a pretty rough uh, picture overall. So to enhance this, it's as simple as just touching your remote, and I'm going to go 1080p at 60 hertz, and we're going to get a nice signal quality, uh, much better than what we were seeing prior to uh, our 1080p selection. Next, we're going to uh, cycle through and check out another source. Uh, we basically press menu on this guy. As you can tell, there's an output setup um, test pattern. Basically, it's simple as going over to the right, scrolling down, select your input. Make sure you press enter. We tend to press the middle button. That's actually the menu button, which will return you uh, just from our old uh, Apple days here. Um, so we're going to press enter on the input type. As you can see, input type is showing VGA. If I would like to show display port, I press DP and then hit enter. Give it about you know five seconds um, depending on whether it's downscaling or upscaling the time change can differentiate between sources um, so this is our mac device this is uh, basically running off our display port as you can see clean picture looks good let's try one more we will go over to our input type remember to hit enter not the middle button Scroll to the right. Now this would be our component or YP uh, BPR, also known. Hit enter. So this will be coming from our DVD player. Our, uh, it is a Blu-ray, it's not 4K, but um, we did have to go into the menu on this guy as well and make sure we selected the component output. Here we have a uh, patent, looks like it's going. Again, I can scale this down as simple as using the remote. 480p at 60 hertz. And we'll check out our signal quality. Not too bad, but it always gets a little better with our 1080p at 60 hertz. 
And there we go. Uh, let's check out one more here. Again, go over to our input selection. And let's check out our HDMI. So this is coming from our 4K Blu-ray player. I don't believe it's a 4K disc, but it is a uh, HDMI connection. And once again, you can see we have our HDMI going. Now, if I want to see what resolution it is, I can just hit info. And it tells us 1920 by 1080p at 59 hertz. Again, this isn't a 4K disc, um, but again, it's a nice quality picture. Um, you can even do a test pattern check. And there's our test pattern, cross pattern, hatch, color, gray. Again, very handy little remote, very simple to use. Now, when I think of where this device might work out really well, houses of worship, schools, of course, hospitals, factories, um, even some residential purposes, a host of different applications you can use this at the, to create convenience. If you got any questions, make sure to hit us up here at BZB Express TV uh, or BZB Gear. Um, you can email us, give us a phone call, call us, hit us up on chat. Whatever your scenario is, we'd be happy to help you. Um, again, thanks for joining us and you guys have a good day.